Welcome. This video will walk through the communication and runtime tabs of the Dataman web user interface. Communications is the fourth tab in the Dataman setup process. Under this tab, you can configure the reader's settings for a variety of different communication protocols, including serial, HID, and industrial Ethernet. Once completed, proceed to the input step to set up input settings for the device, including trigger on, trigger off, encoder, and train match string. On the right-hand side, update polarity of the input settings and set debounce delays. In this step, you can also disable the reader's trigger and tune buttons using the toggle switch. When the inputs are set, click the next step, Outputs. In this step, configure the output settings using the Events section. Use the Actions section to adjust the idle state and pulse width for each input and output. In the Reader Behavior section, update the reader haptic settings, including beeper and indicator light settings. For example, you can turn off the beeper so it will not sound on good reads and increase the light ring pulse from 5 to 10 milliseconds to make the indicator lights flash longer after reads. Once completed, proceed to the file transfer step. Here you can set up the transfer of images or results to a selected server. Use this section to select what data you would like to transfer and direct the device to the server you would like to store that information. Now that the communications tab is complete, the next step in the process is runtime. Clicking on this tab opens the runtime view. Here you will see a summary table showing trigger counts, the current read rate, and decode time statistics. To reset runtime data, click Reset Counts. And to leave runtime mode, you can click the Exit Runtime button at the top right. This completes the Communications and Runtime tab overview. From here your system is ready to deploy. For more information, refer to the Dataman Getting Started page and other videos in the Dataman Setup series. Thank you for watching.